Leonora Carrington was brought up in an Edwardian English house, a wealthy background full of hunt balls and the rituals associated with high society. This painting, in fact, is called Edwardian Hunt Breakfast. It's from the late 1950s, and so we can see that even though she's already left England now for nearly 20 years, that she returns to these themes from her childhood and her home. This is possibly a portrait of her, of her father, who's hosting the breakfast before heading out to hunt. And what we would expect to see on the table would be lots of game, meat, hearty foods before you go out. But instead, it's a vegetarian banquet, cabbages and corn and pomegranates. He's seated beside this very strange, witch-like character, certainly no Edwardian lady that we know. And at the table are ghosts, Edwardian ghost ladies, with their monocles and little pets. But more terrifying than that, all through the forest, we see these little ghostly figures. All of the animals who have been slaughtered before are coming out of the forest to watch, perhaps to pray themselves on these humankind. And this is perhaps what we see in Leonora's work, is this idea that the relationship between man and prey or animal is inverted. If we look to the painting beside us, which is called Pour Yahweh et Jean-Francois, we see buried animals heading out to hunt. And similarly, in the tapestry in the same room, we see this incredibly beautiful blue stag turning on the horseman who's about to try and kill him.